The PCB boards used in this project are sponsored by the PCBA company, which is one of the most experienced PCB and PCB assembly manufacturer. They create high quality PCBs at reasonable prices. The Gerber files of the PCB board used in this project can be downloaded from the PCBA official website. You can find a link in the description. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an advanced level IoT based real time earthquake detector and early warning system using multiple node MCU, ESP8266 5M modules and SW-420 vibration sensors. With the help of this project, the earthquake detection system can be installed in every city which will make a complete wireless network. And every earthquake monitoring device which is represented by the green dot can be monitored in real time using the IoT platform. Due to the real time monitoring, we can easily predict in which direction the earthquake waves are traveling. This way the people can be informed in time before the earthquake hits that area. Each earthquake sensor data will have a date and time information as well. For the practical demonstration, I have only considered two locations, Peshawar and Noshera. Later, you can increase the number of locations. Each time the vibration is detected, the value on the chart is updated in real time and if the vibration crosses a certain predefined value, emails are sent to the concerned person along with the date and time information. If you have never used the UV Dots IoT platform, then I highly recommend first watch my previous video tutorials on the UV Dots IoT platform in which I have already explained the extreme basics including the registration process, how to use different gauges and charts and how to send messages and emails. Without any further delay, let's get started. Components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. As you can see the circuit diagram is really simple. If you want to learn how to make a schematic and PCB then watch my tutorial. You can find a link in the description. The circuit diagram of all the earthquake monitoring nodes will be the same. Only the programs will be different which I will explain in the programming. The Node MCU ESP8266 amp module is powered up using the regulated power supply based on the famous LM7805 voltage regulator. Or you can also use a 5 volts adapter. But I recommend you should use 7805 voltage regulator. This way the Node MCU ESP8266 amp module can be powered up using a 12 volt battery solar panel or 7 to 25 volts adapter. J1 is the DC female power jig and this is where we connect the input supply. Two 470 microfarad capacitors are connected at the input and output sides of the voltage regulator. A wire from the output leg of the voltage regulator is connected with the VN pin of the node MCU module and the ground leg is connected with the ground pin of the Node MCU module. The VCC and ground pins of the SW-420 vibration sensor are connected with the Node MCU module 3.3 volts and ground pins. While the D0 pin of the vibration sensor is connected with the D0 pin of the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. For the easy interfacing, I designed a PCB board for the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. This PCB is manufactured by the PCBA company. As you can see the quality is really great. The silk screen is quite clear and the Blake solder mask looks amazing. I am 100% satisfied with their work. In this project two programs are used. One program is written for the 
Noshera region while the other program is written for the Peshawar region. As you can see both the programs are exactly the same except the Wi-Fi credentials and the client names. These are the variables which will be displayed on the UV.IT platform. Make sure you never use the same client names. I have already uploaded these programs. Now let's have a look at the UV.IT platform. After you power up both the circuits, open your UV Dots account. Click on the devices. You will see two variables. You can check the sensor region by clicking on the variable. As you can see this variable is for the Noshera region. Now if I click on the other variable, you can see this is for the Peshawar region. If I shake the sensor, you will see a change in the value. Now if I shake the other sensor, you will see a change in the value. When there is no vibration, the value will be zero. Now to make it user friendly, we can display these values on the charts. Click on the data and then click on the dashboards. Click on Add New Dashboard. Enter the name. Now click on the Add New Widget and follow the same exact steps. I have already explained these steps in my previous video tutorials. As you can see, two charts are added for the Peshawar and Noshera regions. Now we can display the values coming from the vibration sensors on the charts. We can also generate email alerts whenever the vibration value exceeds a predefined value. Follow the same exact steps.
you can use multiple email IDs and multiple cell phone numbers. As you can see, an email is sent with the date and time information. The project circuit diagram, node MCO programming, and project report data is available on my website electronicclinic.com. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.